And the Spanish. We have the Spanish. We have Polish. We have Greeks. We have English. We have Caribbean. And what he can do, with a humble and surrendered heart. This year, este año, has been a year of tremendous blessing for us. It's 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 a year of tremendous blessing for us. Gavin supported us with a group of people we call our independent advisory group. 
Chris, people look at police and they think we know everything. We've got all the answers. We're supermen and wonder women. And all you need to do is call us and we'll solve your problems. We like to think we can. And sometimes we pretend to the state that we fool ourselves when we can. But the reality is, we can do very little without people around us. We can do very little without people like Gavin, Mark, and you wonderful people behind us, with us, guiding us, helping us, giving us the knowledge. So when I got here two and a half years ago, um, it was a real pleasure to be posted to Harry Gay. It's a great firm. Uh, one of the most diverse, certainly one of the most friendliest, and one of the most open to actually have a real passion. I've never been in a place where there's so many different villages in the English language. You want to build it? You want to build it in the park? 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 And they want to be there, they want to be good. And what is really sad is people outside don't see that. They don't see the negative thing. So when I got here two years ago, we were going through a really difficult time following the riots of 2011. And we're coming up to the stage of the, uh, of the inquest to the shooting of my brother. And I wasn't here in 2011, but when I got here in 2013, I could feel the tension there. You know, the palpable difference, the fear that something is going to happen again. And you also feel the pain of the people who live out there who suffered, who lost their livelihood. But the other thing that I could feel was that there was a real determination that it wasn't going to happen again. And this is where people came in. Now we could have felt like Superman and Wonder Women and thought we could actually deliver what the public wanted. Like this. But the reality is, we couldn't. Yeah, we couldn't. And this is where Gavin Mark and the people like yourselves came in. Because we all worked together. We created a belief that we could have control of our own community. We created a belief that it wouldn't happen again if we didn't want it to happen again. And we worked together to make sure it didn't happen again. There was some pain that we went through. There was some lots of uncertainty, I can tell you that. But we stand here today, certainly I do, feeling very proud that I've got people around me who I can turn to and help, and we can get to a position where we feel as though we've got control of our community. And we can enjoy the good things in our community rather than being worried that some people will pull out some of the bad things that are really insignificant. And that's what resonates today, and the reason why I've been late coming here, we had an unfortunate um, incident yesterday where there was a police operation and the young man was shot dead um, behind the Crown Court. And, um, and I guess we're blessed in a way because the papers picked it up as young man shot, shot in North London Wood Green. And you, can, you, know, you just can't imagine what difference that made to the newspaper reporting young man shot in Tottenham by police. And it's a completely different complexion. But we're hoping that the press don't pick that up. If they do, then again, all the work that we're doing today, I will continue doing, Come we can actually make sure that that headline doesn't derail us. So I'm really blessed to have landed in Harrogate. Um, and I thank the Lord that you know, when I landed here, there were people around who didn't help me, my officers, and bring us into the community. It's too easy to see the police as outside the community. The people who might do good for us, but they're outside. I feel at the moment, two and a half years on, we're seen as people who are part of the community. We can't help but we're part of the community. And I can tell you that is a great feeling. It gives you real reassurance and heart coming to work to know that if you get it wrong, and we do, and we will, not because we want to get it wrong, but if you get it wrong, you know that people will give you a chance and actually help you work it out rather than jumping on your back and actually blaming you for actually doing something really bad. And that's a great feeling to have. And, and it's really brilliant to be able to be here today to share that with you and feel it's part of that family. 
All I can ask you is keep supporting us. Because you might like to think we're off the top of the brave sometimes, but it's only pretend. Keep helping us and we'll keep doing our best to make sure that we work together, we remain part of the community and we'll keep you safe the way you want to be. Thank you very much. You get a feeling as you look at these two chapters that by the time you get to chapter 10, there's an increase in momentum. And it's this increase in momentum that I want to talk about for a few moments. When he's instructing the 70, he says a few very specific things to them. Class, teaching on evangelism, but reaching those involved in new aims, the seeker community. And so we have specialized classes that are very unique. I've never seen any of these classes in the Bible school before. But God is good. I believe in having different kind of classes than normal. Amen. Come on, put your hands together. God bless you. Thank you. Now we have Pastor Gavin. Gavin Jacobs. Thank you. God bless you. See. Pastor Gavin Jacobs is going to come up and he's going to do the Guns and Gangs, Prisons, and then the Chaplaincy Course.
Gian Cavallo. Incidentally, that is the mother and father of Lohara, the whole family. And how does your family know what you do? Know what you have in your house, they say. Next one is Yvette Souza. Sebastian Souza, Sebastiano. Sebastian Souza. That is Raymond. He was the first young man also came with his mother and father. And so he's at school and it was important for him to be here because I was asked, should he be here? Because there are certain things that he won't that he will hear that might not be appropriate for him. But what's the point of all of that if he sits in school and he hears that in school anyway? And so if he hears things in a controlled environment that he can understand understand longer and better. And so he and the other young lady soon to be here is going to be the first youth chaplains in the school. Venetia <laughs> Di Matos. Paolo Figarillo. Now we're going to go over to those who do the chaplaincy, who've done the chaplaincy course, and I might just call one or two people just to come and help, and, and just to, to come and hand it out for us and go on the stage. Isabella Barani. Justina Brandes. <laughs> Luisa Vargas Rodriguez. So now we have the chaplains, and there is in no particular order, as I said. <laughs> Can I ask Peter just to step forward? Yes. He's got a special badge he has to put on first. He can't do this without the badge. He's officiating now the official capacity, and we are so thankful. He is from the, uh, the Naval Command. Uh, and he's a commander of uh, Herringay. So please make him feel welcome. He was very interested when I said to him, would you like to come? And he did not hesitate a single moment because he has a heart for his community and that's important to us. Amen. So we will start with Adrian Morgan. Just rub your hands with 
Anne Marie Burton Hale. Pastor Benedicto Requena. Cristiana Constantino. Unfortunately, one of the offenders that worked with us, he's back in prison. 
Up to any fault of his own, he had a previous and they collected him for that. So on the license, he was taken in. But he wrote, and I'm going to bring this to the people who say, man, that he thanked us, and those who worked with him at the time, they know who we are, they know who we are. And he thanked you from the bottom of his heart. He says, no.
your information. This is school is so unique that we don't turn anybody away. It doesn't matter of your rank, it doesn't matter where you come from, where you're going to, as long as you're here. <laughs> the next person I'm going to call up uh, falls into that category. When I met him, too, I didn't strike me as a person that wanted to do the course, and with good reason. But as time developed and he sat in the class, and as I saw this person become more and more so attracted to what's happening around him. And he's now been officially been ordained as the Bishop of the Midlands. Figarillo, 
Appreciate it. Where did where did that thing go? You can't you disappear. Come back up there. Hi, Jackie. Jackie Mountain. Come on, put your hands together. That bless you, Jackie. <laughs>
when we did nothing. May we remember always that when nothing but runs in his hands. God bless you. Thank you. They know my heart. Doing what we're doing, except working with those who do what happens. I know you carry my heart. I know I carry your heart too. But that is why you stay. Three months is not a short time. That's just for one cause. Six weeks, consecutive weeks, for another cause and guns and gangs is not a short time. But they've gone through all the drones because you know that in your communities what happens. And things happen for a reason. And now I know I have a team, that we have a team collectively, whether it is me calling them or they calling me, it doesn't really matter. That we have each other and this community, our communities and our churches will become stronger through them because they have a, a broader knowledge. And I gave everything I have that I know, that I've learned from my experiences that God has given me and planted into them so that they can be better stewards of the things I've taught them. It's not about me. It's not about what I taught them, it's about how much they will go forward in the things that I've learned. So if there's anybody here today who wants to be with me, and you feel you can be a part of that and you want to learn more, please do not hesitate to ask us. As I said, we will not turn away anybody. I just, last week we were talking, I was talking to another pastor, he's in this, in this congregation, in fact, it's two of them who will verify this, that for the same things that people are doing around the country, for one day, they are charging people 350 pounds for one day. We charge them 10 pounds. And the ones who sit here and absorb and take in, as far as the Derek already alluded, there are things that we do. When I teach, I teach hardcore. I don't hold back. I don't care who you are, whether you're a bishop or a or whether you're a pastor or you're just a member of the congregation. The rules apply the same because if they meet you outside, they're not going to want to know your title. Sad. But guess what? It came to my door. And so the beggar at my door, I must take care of. I have a great leader, Dr. Hugh. And the principles of the people. So when you go through the challenge, you will be invited. I'm sure, my life is speaking that, that in the next meeting, the next CIC meeting, I would want everyone who is present here today, sitting in the seat here today, to attend, just to support, and see where your ministry will go, and where God will take you in the years and the days to come, that your churches and your community, one community, I said, if we strengthen the community, we strengthen the city, strengthen the city, and you strengthen the whole nation, strengthen the nation, you strengthen the world. And that's how we're going to do it. We don't going to take the world, we're going to take one day, one city, one Kabara at a time, and one community at a time, and then we'll go forward. God bless you. Yeah. 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 We have a couple of teachers here. Callie, why don't you stand up? Callie, he actually teaches on business skills, kingdom business skills. Come on, put your hands together for him. And also, so Father God, I want to thank you for the way that you've sustained each of these graduates through the course. I want to thank you for everything that you have imparted into their lives. I want to pray now, Lord, as we commission them to take what they have learnt into the community. Pray, Lord, that they will know your strength. Lord, that they will know your peace they will be able to walk in your humility, and that they will be able to see the momentum increase so that we can really make a difference. Lord, each of these people, Lord, 
Lord, you know their hearts. You know their desire to serve. We pray, Lord, that as you position them in the community, that you will use each one of them to maximum effectiveness, Lord. You promise never to leave us not the us. So we pray that each one might truly experience that constant awareness of your presence. In Jesus' name.